Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Juliet from Spoilt Rotten Beads and I've got a lovely project for you today. It's a very fresh modern take on a simple pearl necklace. It's the one that I'm wearing here. It's quite beachy and sort of boho, I think. It features a lovely coin pearl, which um, is attached to a leather cord and there's a clever little bit of leather wrapping that happens um, on, top of the, um, on top of the pin there, which I wanna show you guys. It's very simple to do, um, but I think it's very effective and it is finished with um, a little button closure um, and a charm that hanging on the back there this one's got a heart on it the one that I'm wearing has got an acorn on it it's really simple hopefully teach you some nice useful techniques that you'll be able to use in other projects as well you just need a few components and I'm going to talk you through those right now so to make one of these lovely leather and freshwater pearl necklaces, you are going to need the following. You're going to need a coin shaped freshwater pearl and you want one that is probably around about 15 mil um, in size. You don't want anything smaller than that or it may look a little bit lost. You're going to need some one millimeter leather and that's what I've wrapped around the head pin here and what we've used to hang the pendant onto the um, onto the leather. It's hung on one mil leather as well. You're going to need a button to use as a closure and I've got this cute little um, mother of pearl flower button here which works really really well with the pearl but you could use anything you like. You'll need um, a charm and a jump ring if you want to hang a charm from your clasp loop as well. And you'll need a ball pin as well. And the ball pin is what goes through the pearl here um, to create the pendant. You're going to need some tools. You'll need some chain, some chain nose pliers, some round nose pliers and some side cutters. And you'll also need some GS Hypo Cement Glue. Um, I had a little um, heart shaped um charm here on this one but the one I'm about to make will have the little acorn charm on there and in terms of the amount of leather you're going to need I'd say around about a meter will be enough um, you probably use a little less than that but it's best to start off with around about a meter of one mil leather cord so I'm just going to clear my bead mat off and then show you guys how to get started so to begin with, all you'll need is your ball pin and your pearl. And these pearls are beautiful. They've got a lovely luster on them. They've got a lovely texture across them. They're not all the same and they're sort of all different and individual, which I think is beautiful, um, but they do have a beautiful luster. You'll need to thread your pearl onto your ball pin. Take it to the end like so. And then you want to make a wrapped loop on the ball pin. <clears throat> And you need to make it around about um, around about seven millimeters um, away from the pearl itself, and that's so that you leave enough room to do that lovely wrap um, that we've got here um, on this one that I finished. Um, let me just grab that. Let you guys see. There you go. So you need to leave yourself enough room so that you can do that leather wrapping. That I'm about to show you guys. So about seven millime millimetres is, is about right there. So you can see that gap that I've left. And you just want to make a regular loop with your round nose pliers. You can wrap it just about once, like so. And that's my loop done now. And then you just trim off this little tail with your side cutters. And you're left with this. And now we're ready for our leather. So I've got my length, a length of leather here and you'll only need around about 20 centimetres for this bit um, of the necklace. So you probably use a little bit less than that actually, but if you work with about 20 centimetres, then it's gonna be about right. And towards the end of the leather, you just want to fold it down so that you get a loop like this. So I'm just folded the end over so that I've got a loop like that. And I'm going to take that loop and grip it against the pearl with my thumb and forefinger. And then I've got a nice long piece of leather here. And what I'm gonna do is start wrapping this long piece of leather around, trapping this tail as I go and covering up that ball pin and I'm wrapping it down towards the pearl and towards that loop and when you get to the pearl you can give it a couple of extra wraps so that it kind of gets a bit thicker as it reaches the pearl there 
There you go. Now what I'm going to do, hold this in place and take my piece of leather that I've been wrapping with, pop that through the loop there. Like so. And then the tail from the beginning, I'm going to start to pull. And as I pull, this loop will close up and it's all going to be nice and secure. So you can't see what's going on under my thumb at the moment, but that loop is closing up as I pull it all tight, like so. Let's give it a little tug and it's nice and tight there. And that's how you make that clever little wrap of leather there, which looks really cool on top of the pearl. And then you can just take your cutters and trim off the ends of leather that you're left with. And it's actually nice and secure, but what I like to do at this stage to make sure that, you know, it really stays secure as the person wears it is to just pop a little dab of hypo cement where those ends of leather are. Okay. And that's your little pearl pendant all ready to go then. So you see how easy that is. You do get the hang of it. Let me just take it up to the camera, let you guys take a look. See what it looks like. Really pretty. And now you're ready for your length of leather that you're going to use um, for to hang the pendant on. So first of all, what I'm going to do is thread on my little mother of pearl button there and this is what's going to call, form the toggle clasp and I need to tie a knot in the leather nice and close up to the base of this button so I'm just going to wrap my leather over and then I'm just going to use my pliers to pull the ends through the loop that I made. I find it easier to use pliers to do that. Slide that knot down so that it's nice and close to that button and that's my button attached. And then I am going to trim off my tail of leather. And I like to trim it at a little angle so that you get a little point on the end here because I think it looks nice and professional. And now before I go any further, I need to thread on my pendant. And at this stage, you need to think about how long you want your necklace to be. <clears throat> so I am going to make mine about 18 inches. So I'm going to grab my tape measure and measure 18 inches, which is a, a good kind of average length for a necklace. So I'm just measuring 18 inches of leather here. You can't see where that gets to, but that gets me to here. So I know that that point under my fingers there is 18 inches. So that's where I want my loop to be. So I'm going to fold my leather over at that 18 inch point and sort of eyeball it, measure it against that little um, button. And I know how big my loop's got to be then. And I can just now knot my leather so that I get that nice little neat loop there in the right spot so I'm just going to adjust it keep keep holding it up against the button to make sure that it's big enough to to do up but it's not so big that it's going to come undone easily i'm just going to give it a little pull that's going to be just right i can fasten that now that's perfect so all I need to do now is to take my cutters and just trim off my tail again. And again, I like to do it at an angle because I just think it looks a bit more professional when you do. And you can just leave your necklace like that if you like. It's all ready to go now. But what I do like to do at this stage is to just attach a little charm because I just think it's a really nice kind of finishing touch for these beachy necklaces to do that. So um, I'm going to do that with my jump ring here. I've got a six mil open jump ring and I've got my chain nose pliers and grip either side of the jump ring and just twist it open there. I can slip on my charm. 
So she pinging her jump ring across the room. And again. <laughs> it doesn't want to play ball, this jump ring, does it? There we go. There we are, finally. <laughs> There's my little charm on my jump ring there. Really pretty. Um, and I'm going to attach it to the loop that I just made because I do think that looks really pretty just on that clasp loop. It's just a nice little um, a nice little finishing touch really um, that will just sit on that clasp loop there, that little um, that little acorn there. And as I said, on this one here, I did a heart because I do think that's really pretty as well. It's kind of quite Valentine's-y, isn't it? Um, so you can just choose a charm that suits you really. Um, it's up to you. Um, so it's a nice, quick and easy project. It's very kind of beachy and it's a nice twist on the pearl necklace. Just that single coin pearl there. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. You'll find everything you need over on our website, www.spoiltrottenbeads.co.uk. But before you go, do subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our next upload. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.